Hi, Tom from BKNutrition.com. Today I want to talk about the importance of not breaking the chain when you're trying to achieve a body transformation. Now, whether that be weight loss, fat loss, or gaining muscle, or any combination of those factors, you're going to have to make sure you're doing something every day towards that goal. Now, breaking the chain is also known as no days off, or uh, leaving no box unchecked. And the idea is, is that every day you are doing something towards the goal that you're trying to achieve. Now, that can be the same thing every single day, or it can be a number of things that you do towards achieving a certain goal. So, say if you have a weight loss goal, you might might walk 20 minutes every day but you might not say take the same walk every day you might walk 20 minutes in the city center you might walk 20 minutes in the countryside but you're doing the same action every day or you might be reading a chapter of a book a day a book about weight loss or a book about maybe self-improvement or mind management or something like that but you would read obviously a different chapter every day or you might read a different book as you're moving through so the it's it's not about doing the same thing necessarily every day but the, uh, the actions that take you towards that goal. Now I talk about living a leaner lifestyle and votes for a leaner lifestyle in my practice. And I've got other videos on the vote sheet and a few other things I use. Uh, and the idea is, is that I get clients to say, well, everything, everything they've done that day that has been a vote for their leaner lifestyle. So a leaner lifestyle is what they're trying to achieve. Most people I work with, uh, I would say 99% of people I work with, are looking to lose some fat and build some muscle. So that's what I call the leaner lifestyle. So anything that they do in the day that works them towards that lifestyle. So I went to the gym today and I did 10 minutes extra cardio, or I ate more protein today that helps me build more muscle or I turned down a piece of cake at lunch, I wasn't hungry so I didn't, I didn't have it. Those sorts of things are votes for a leaner lifestyle, they're taking you towards where you want to be and you're assuming the identity of the person you want to become. Now that's not like, um, uh, like a, a second brain sort of thing or a schizophrenic sort of thing, what, what I mean by that is that if you are say um, 30 kilos overweight and you want to be, uh, you want to obviously lose those 30 kilos, well then you want to behave like the person who has lost those 30 kilos, person who doesn't have those 30 kilos. So what would that person do? They would probably walk most places. They would probably do some sort of cardio at the gym. They would probably do some sort of exercise. So if you're doing none of those things, then you're not making votes for that lifestyle. And it's gonna be incredibly hard for you to accomplish that goal without doing those some of those actions. Now, when we talk about breaking the chain or not breaking the chain, for an example for me is that at the moment I am doing a video on YouTube every single day in order to uh, create the identity in myself of, of, a, of a positive YouTube contributor, a, a creator of content that helps other people. That's what I wanted to do, I wanted to get comfortable in front of talking on the camera, I wanted to get comfortable doing lives on the camera, and uh, contrary to what you might see on my stories and everything else, I'm actually a bit of an introvert, so so getting on camera is a little bit of a, uh, of a, uh, uh, out of my, um, out of my, uh, comfort zone i should say uh situation sometimes you might see i muddle words a little bit and sometimes get confused on what i'm talking about um but the idea is i'm doing it every single day in order to become a better content creator a better public speaker someone who's more confident about talking about my subject because i do know a lot about nutrition i do know a lot about training but sometimes I see this imposter syndrome, which is why should I be talking about my topic? There are so many other people who are knowledgeable, but actually I am very knowledgeable. I do know that I'm just combating my own inner psyche. So it's doing these videos is one way to get me over that. And I suppose it is making a difference. I'm more confident now than I was about 80 videos ago, but I've been doing a video a day for nearly 90 days as of this video today. Um, and if I didn't do that, if I'd say, well, I do need one video a week or one video every five days or whatever, I, I would not be in the situation where I am now where I'm more confident about talking on camera. I've got more content on my YouTube feed. I can refer to more content. I can help more clients because I've created that content. And yeah, some of it, maybe when I go back over and look at things, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But however, it doesn't matter because everything is moving me towards that goal which I want to I want to become, the person I want to become. So that is, for me, that is my not breaking the chain. If I don't do a video a day now, 
I feel as though I haven't accomplished one of my tasks for the day, that it's not normal that I haven't done a video. So now I am becoming more of a content creator and less of a content um, consumer, I should say. So I've got more content coming out than I have going in, which is which is actually quite important if you are in business and you are um, someone who does create content. It's a lot better to output more content than what you than what you consume. So um, so that is what I mean by breaking the chain. And if you're doing it for weight loss or muscle gain or whatever, you know, if you're doing it for muscle gain, then you want to be making those votes every day. Now, of course, with muscle gain, you can't go to the gym every day and train with weights every day because if you did, you would probably get to a point where you were overtraining quite quickly. However, what you can do is you can go to the gym four to five times a week, that's one of the votes, and in the days off, you might be going and doing some cardio or some walking because although that's not a direct stimulus of building muscle, what doing a 20 minute or 30 minute walk does every day is improves your cardiovascular uh, cardiovascular system. It um, helps your body metabolize fat because you're maybe burning more calories out. It keeps maybe body fat from being stored because you're burning more calories out and uh, potentially improving your mind and moving you in towards a more healthy direction because there are a lot of bodybuilders who are very overweight in the name of gaining muscle and gaining mass and actually they're not very fit and the hearts aren't in a very good position. So uh, it's much better if you are trying to build muscle if you are taking care of that cardiovascular system as well because that will actually feed back into your muscles and if you can get more blood more efficiently into your muscles and dispose of the, uh, the, the toxins, if that's what you want to call them, created from training more efficiently because you've got a better circulatory system then yes, that 20 minute walk is going to help you build muscle. But sometimes people don't think of all these other things that are gonna help them. So training five days a week, yeah, great for building muscle. Doing three or four walks a week, about 20, 30 minutes that your heart is, heart is slightly elevated, also good for building muscle in terms of the recovery and rest um, situation. If we're talking about fat loss, then okay, you can probably do a 20 minute walk a day, which will help towards that. And you can probably eat in a calorie deficit if you can, if you watch all my videos to tell you how to do that. You can do that probably seven days a week. However, sometimes you might need a break from your um, calorie deficit and what's called a diet break. And so a lot of people don't do this. They just try and maintain a deficit for as long as possible and it doesn't help them because eventually the metabolism starts to uh, react to that and starts to be brought down by the body um, in, in order to match that deficit. So what we do every now and again is we do something called a diet break, which is actually eating more calories than what you would normally take in. It actually goes over maintenance. And the idea behind that, it is research-based, it is scientifically-based, is that you give yourself this massive boost of food for a couple of days and all the hormones associated with slowing down metabolism and increasing your hunger tend to abate and you can get on with your diet and actually get more out of your diet than you were before. Now, while this is not maintaining a calorie deficit, so in the in a true sense of the word, you're not dieting at that point, what you are doing is you're still moving the box or moving the, the pointer towards where you want to be because you've taken a calculated time out to have more food. Remember, this isn't coming off your diet, this is factoring it into your diet. But that would be, in my book and when I work with clients, that is a box ticked for being in a calorie deficit because taking those four days off, overeating a little bit and coming back onto the diet, that will then put you back into a deficit and your hormones and everything else will be reset, your mind will be reset, and you're more likely to stick to the diet long-term. So that is a vote for a long-term calorie deficit, even though you are eating more food. Again, people don't think about that. They oh, must be on a diet all the time. I you know, must be in a calorie deficit all the time. It's on average, you need to be in a calorie deficit. So when we're talking about weeks, I measure with clients, months I measure with clients, but also six months, because if you're doing four to five months in a calorie deficit and every couple of months you're having say a week or so off where you increase your calories well over that six months you're still in a deficit over that whole time so you will lose you will lose body fat so you've got to have this big picture approach and especially this breaking the chain is making those positive or not breaking the chain i should say is making those positive votes towards whatever you're trying to achieve 
So it's important also to have some sort of measurements of this. So for my videos that I do every day, I have a spreadsheet, I list the video I've done, I list the link, and then some other topics and stuff like that, because I repost it to Instagram and stuff like that. So I, I have a whole list of all the stuff, and when I look at my list, I can see everything that I've done, and every single day I've created a video, and every single day there's a link next to that video. Now, I'm, I would do not want to leave a gap in those videos, I wanna make sure that there's one every single day, at least for the 90, because the target is 90 days of posting 90 videos. So I don't want to for that 90 days, because that's the target I've set myself to not have a, a, an entry in one of those days. Um, so sometimes I post, <coughs> I do a couple of videos together and block post them if I've got, say, a busy weekend coming up or I've got my son for the weekend. Uh, and sometimes, like it is now, I've had a busy couple of days and, um, and I'm having to do a video at nine o'clock at night because if I don't, I won't post the video and I'll break the chain and that's not acceptable to me. It would be very easy for me not to post this video today, film it tomorrow and then post it and I say, oh, it's a matter, it's only a day. However, every time you do that, every time you allow yourself to come off the chain and break the chain, it becomes a little bit easier. You're moving the pointer back to where you were before and actually what you'll find is over time, you'll actually regress back to where you were doing nothing. This is the same with diets. Every now and again, you give us, oh, I don't matter, I'll, I'll diet starts tomorrow, that sort of thing. Every time you do that, you're moving the pointer back again. And every time you miss a gym session because you just don't feel like it, not because you're injured or it's a legitimately time off, uh, every time you miss a gym session, you're pushing it back because it becomes easier to miss that gym session. And I'm not talking about hardened bodybuilders because they would never miss a gym session even if they were half dead. I'm talking about the majority of my clients I work with who are business people, busy people, busy entrepreneurs, and they are maybe making an excuse not to go to the gym because of work and uh, and then very soon they don't go to the gym where they stop doing the things they were doing and then they regress back to where they were. So it's something to think about not leaving a box unchecked or never leave a box unchecked. Don't break the chain if you can help it. Um, it does give you that mental thing about look what I've accomplished and the more you do it, the more you don't wanna break that chain and the more it becomes, look what I've accomplished, look at everything I've achieved and you are thinking towards where you want to be and you're becoming that person you want to be. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Um, a little bit of a deep dive into my um, psyche, I suppose, which uh, maybe I'll regret afterwards, but I think it's important to be open about these things. No one is perfect. No one has the perfect life. Um, we are all uh, fighting the fight as much as we can. So um, I hope this has helped you. Um, leave a comment below if it has helped you. Um, share if someone would benefit from uh, listening to this video or watching this video. And I'll see you on the next video, hopefully not at nine o'clock at night.